In today's episode, we're exploring the Hudson River State Hospital in Poughkeepsie, New York. Dating back to 1867, this historic structure was an iconic symbol of the development of new treatments for the mentally ill. Unfortunately, the main structure has been neglected for many years and has severely decayed. While it's a shame the buildings are in this condition, it creates a unique atmosphere of modern ruins. Join us as we explore what remains during a winter snow shower and during the summer foliage. After traveling and filming abandoned places, there's only one thing I look forward to, a good night's sleep. And thanks to Helix Sleep for ensuring a well-rested night and sponsoring this portion of today's video. I've had my Helix mattress for about a year now, and it's been great. I've been less restless throughout the night and I've had a lot fewer sore mornings when I wake up. Most mornings I'm just so comfortable I don't want to get out of bed, and the mattress is just as comfortable as day one. Helix Sleep makes premium fiberglass free mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and delivered right to your door with free shipping in the USA. Everybody's different and Helix knows that. On their website is a sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleeping preferences to the mattress that best fits you. They have something for everyone and if you sleep with a partner you can take the sleep quiz together to find something that fits both of you. The mattress is shipped in a box right to your door. It comes rolled up with impressively compact shipping. Because of how well packed it was shipped, I was able to get it into the bedroom and set up on my own, and it really surprised me how quickly it expanded. In only a few minutes, it was ready for a solid nap. Based on my results, Helix matched me with the Midnight. I'm a side sleeper and prefer a medium feel, something that's soft but still supportive. They also offer an optional Glaciotex cooling cover, which I opted for. It helps maintain the temperature of the mattress throughout the night. I like it colder when I sleep, and the cooling cover pulls heat away from your body. Over the past year, I've had better and more comfortable sleep than I've ever had before, and it's just as comfortable as day one. This is the mattress I wish I could have when traveling, and while it is impossible to bring it with me, the first night back home always comes with a super restful and comfortable night's sleep with the Helix mattress. And to make sure you love it, Helix offers a 100 night sleep trial with a 10 year warranty with financing and flexible payment options. Upgrade your mattress with Helix. You can get 20% off your purchase plus two free pillows at helixsleep.com slash proper people. Thomas Story Kirkbride's Linear Plan, first introduced in 1848, was a system for psychiatric hospitals that outlined the architectural design, administration, placement, and how the grounds were arranged. It arranged buildings in a V-shape with administration in the center and the wards flanking each side in a symmetrical layout. The wards on one side of admin would be reserved for male patients, and the opposite would be for female. The wards closer to admin were for mild cases, and further out were for more severe. Original plans called for accommodation of 250. The offset of connected buildings would allow for maximum amounts of light and ventilation, and allowed for the simplified organization of patient wards. Central service buildings like kitchens and dining halls were typically located in the center behind administration. In the second half of the 19th century, there was a large demand for beds in psychiatric hospitals. Not only were more constructed, but the size of the hospitals themselves increased. In 1867, the state of New York hired Calvert Vox and Frederick Clark Withers to design a hospital to accommodate 600, the first of its size. Withers designed the main buildings in the high Victorian Gothic style, and Vox and Olmsted designed the arrangement of the landscape. Original plans for the structure called for a symmetrical design with six wings flanking the center administration building, an improved version of the Kirkbride plan. The original Kirkbride plan had buildings tightly grouped together and lacked windows at the end of the hallways. The improved plan that became popular in the late 1800s featured more space between wards with a deeper V-shape, alcoves at the center of the wards with bay windows, and bay windows at the end of each hallway. Hudson's setbacks featured return wings of almost equal length to those parallel to the facade and many bay windows with stained glass. As construction progressed, the project was continuously delayed and extremely over budget. 
The first patients were admitted in 1871, but construction on the campus continued until 1895, when the state cut funding for the project. The hospital's original plan was still not complete, leaving the main building unsymmetrical. In the 20th century, more modern structures were built to bring up-to-date treatments to Hudson River. Treatments were fully transferred out of the flanking pavilions by the 1970s, and only administration was used until 2003. Since its closing, there have been two major fires severely damaging the main building. Floor joists have completely collapsed, leaving the weakening facade to crumble. It's upsetting knowing that for a building of this size, it would take extreme amounts of money to save. It's a shame it was left to decay to the current conditions. We were complaining about there not being enough snow before. I think this is uh, definitely enough snow falling now. It is almost 3 p.m. already though, so we have about an hour of light, maybe a little more. Okay, I'm really glad we came here. This is really beautiful in the snow. <laughs> That's gonna be extra slippery. Did you use the door frame or just the side? That. There's no one in here. Wow, the central hallway is just gone. Holy crap. I think we can make it across. Jeez. Are we going in up there? We could. We can also just keep going if you want. That's the side that has no roof at all. This one's a walkable hallway. We can go upstairs and everything here. The rubble in the snow looks kind of crazy. Yeah. It's also really hard to climb. <laughs> this is so peaceful. You can see some of the pressed tin ceiling still hanging on up there. It's got a pattern on it. Oh yeah, that looks painted. Underneath the tin ceiling. Really? Yeah. That's like the original, original original. Then they added the tin. Wow. You see on the corner of the tin, that's where they shoved all their added electrical cables. Cause this building I think was built before modern electricity. I'm sure they had gas lights hanging in here originally.
It's a bathroom. There used to be a lot more buildings out there. Now it's just a wasteland. See some of the red on the windows over there. Oh yeah, the snow's getting in here good. It's so peaceful and quiet. I love it. The snow dampens all the sound. Just hear that one stupid construction truck driving around. Probably a bulldozer. This is two floors up. Coming all the way in. See that window right there? It's one of the original window frames. Yeah. Those are definitely bars with style. Mm -hmm. Barred windows with style. Yeah, that's why they did them like that. Yeah, Probably they're metal. Break out. All right, this is way sicker in the snow than I expected. Like, this is cool. Wow. You can see the charred wood all the way up there. Yeah, it's almost unrecognizable compared to the historic photo. The other one on the other side of the arches is gone now. It's the last chance to see it. It was probably. on every floor. You can see above it had a spot for it too. Yeah. It's like one little piece of stained glass left. But actually the ones that are boarded above it have a yeah. ton of stained glass the, uh, left. The female side has stained glass and the end of them. We didn't go in it today, but the, we did last time. The first. There's a tree in the building, you know. Normal stuff. Fire exit right there. These arches are one of the prettier parts, in my opinion. Just got stabbed with a piece of metal. Do you trust that floor that you're standing on right now, though? Because I probably wouldn't. I don't know, this hallway's really nice. It's like, all the doorways are here, the tin ceiling is here. The lighting in here is really cool, too. Tin ceiling on the floor. And where it's fallen off, you can see the uh, original stenciling in the paint from before they had the tin ceiling. I'm guessing that was before they electrified it or modified the electrics. They covered it up with the tin. The rooms are fairly empty, but this one has um, drawers from like a dresser and they're very old looking. They're green. It's a linen room. floor on this room, not going further. Very crispy paint. Past here is a collapse, which I don't think I can get through from here. I have to go back around. 
but that's a day room at the end over there. The floor is worse and worse every time I'm in here. This door frame, barely hanging on. You can see the original stenciling coming through the layers and layers of paint. And you're standing on what used to be the building. That's a dormer window. Dormer? The dormer window. That's the <laughs> whole window. The top piece of it, at least. Wow. The sweet roof tile. That's crazy. These were still up there last That time. fell from right there. Yeah. It's a shame it's on the floor now. We can go all the way up to the attic and really see the char. Really? And get on top and see right. an overview of where there's no roof. It's really cool. That's cool. The they originally were glass in the holes. Oh, to let light through? Yep. See some of these have the glass. Oh yeah. Wow. You can see the arch facade details. Yeah. That is something. Wow. So the stairwells are the only solid parts of the building, it seems. Yeah, we're in the attic part now. Oh my god. Whoa, dude. Yeah. Do you realize what you're walking on? That's how you gotta be out here. Oh my god, you're not a cat. <laughs> well, I'll let you film that. I think I'm good here. It's really cool. It's like very surreal. It's so crazy how decayed this building is. You could see the bricks are curved. They're not supposed to be. <sighs> Pretty high up in this thing. There you can see they just built a shopping center where some of the other buildings used to be.
The madman's going for it. I've done it before. He so does I'm not care. <laughs> it's a little crispy. This was not like that last time. How has nobody died here? This was not like that last time. Collapsed? Yeah. Yeah, and that could have been us on those stairs. Should I go right up there. still? Probably not. There's a step up in the stone right here. You can take. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, don't come up here. Yeah. Uh, you need me to do anything? Uh. I'm, okay, I'm coming up. I'm good. You good? This is the same place I was last time I was here. That is insane. Move like a cat. So, as light weight transfer. I'm good, I'm on the brick now. As possible. Yeah, just because something was good last time. That was two, three years ago. Two, three years ago. <laughs> you didn't mention that part. So um, that's the closest I've seen to uh, a true completely falling through the floor yeah. while I've been exploring. I think uh, <laughs> I got a little too confident about Hudson. I think so. I think Hudson is ready to kill you if you're not careful. <laughs> Hudson demands respect. It does. I wasn't giving it. See the smokestack for the power plant out there? I think it's just a steam plant. Yeah, the snow is dying out, but I think it's supposed to come back before sunset. This was a whole bay window area sticking out, like a day room. Look at the arches. It's just gone. Look at all those arches. Yeah, you can see, this was the staircase here. But this was not a concrete staircase. This was a wooden one. Should we go to that caged in balcony? Yeah, there? Okay. sure. Let's check that out. Body. And the stretcher. And then you see a worker drive by right in front of us. That'd suck. I don't know if they'd see us though. Kind of stops snowing. This building's gonna have to be demolished, I hate yeah, to say it. there's no way to save this. I mean, maybe If all the brick is, was intact, maybe, but yeah. it's not even that. It's, it's past saving. This is ruins at this point. Man, I love the look of that stonework. So imposing. Watch out, these steps are loose.
very hard to go into something. These are your standard New York Psych Peabody chairs made of molded fiberglass. Yeah, the coating of it is completely That's the gone. the fiberglass itself. There's supposed to be like a, yeah. a lacquer over it or something. Look at all the beer cans here. I just noticed that. This is someone's hangout spot. They had to climb too to get the ones all the way at the top. Yeah, that's coming off the Hudson. Yeah. The fog on the river. Pretty nice. Wow, this is cool. Where else are you gonna see an elevator motor covered in snow? Look at the railing on the building over there. That's some cool detail with the swirls. It's completely collapsed up here. Not even chimneys, really. This was the staircase over here. This is the staircase? Yeah. Good thing there's no gap bigger than two. <laughs> Look at all these plastic molded chairs down here. Oh wow, there's actually stuff in this hallway. Yeah. There's a bunch of medical stuff here. Oh, this is where that famous photo is. It's a little beat up. Yeah. Is that a thermometer up there? Degrees Fahrenheit, it goes up to 2500. Yeah. Wow. What do these say? Coagulating and cutting. Wow. Stop staging shitty photos. If you wanted good photos of Hudson, you should have been here 2006. <laughs> That's kind of what we mean about this being a famous place. It's in the meme culture of Urbex. Nice checkerboard asbestos flooring. The templates for where the tools were supposed to go are made out of wallpaper with flowers. <laughs> it seems like a bad system because someone could just tear down the wallpaper and you never yeah. know the tool was missing. Ooh, that's a nice fireplace right there. You can climb through here if you want to. I don't that's think so. That's the best way to get through. Oh, really? Yeah. If you want to We get can't just the... walk outside. I mean, you could, but I just go through here. There's okay. stuff over there. What line should I take? On that chair around over and up. All right. That's what I did nothing. last time. <sighs> I 
feels solid enough. Oh my god, it's all slippery. The snow really adds that extra layer of challenge. Oh my god. Is it really bad? It's really bad. You have to kind of wedge your foot somewhere before you take the next step. I see. Grab onto the wall or something. Yeah. It's not really anything to do. <laughs> I'd say the brick is most trusted. There you go. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the uh, female side is that way. But Just the way all the stuff is hanging down. Yeah. Is that, yeah, those are all vines and branches. Mixed with wires. This place is green during the Are those wires mixed in? Yeah. I can't even tell. This is a uh, sketchy spot, also. This drop won't kill you, but it'll definitely hurt you. This looks like a considerably safer area. So here's admin. The connector to this war is demolished. They did that when they started refurbishing right. it. That's the only building they're saving. Yep. Yo, there's a camera on that building, on admin. It's looking this way. Well, we'll stay away from now. Wow, this opens up nice and big. Wow. Original oh, dining hall. Connectors were really cool with like the spire on it. It's driving back here. It's pretty overgrown too. Getting the very start of the transition to fall. Got a few red leaves already. Oh my god. <sighs> really? There's another way to get to where you are? Not unless you go <laughs> back outside and around. That looks really floppy. It's not that bad. And I weigh a bit more than you do. Because even that is not joined to anything. That, that This is sitting on something that's... Yeah. You can go outside and come around. Yeah. But the There's security can drive these. on the road back there. So Brian's over in that building. I gotta find a way to get over there. These cabinets are all intact, they're so nice. 
still have Christmas decorations inside too. This day room area is full of old storage, street lamps, lighting equipment, kitchen, kitchen stuff. Next to this pile of old fluorescence, we have a base of a, a castle surgical light. Here's the tracks for the surgical light. We're on the staircase. Michael could come right here if he wants. Oh, here's original tiles. You just walked through the workshop? Didn't even go around, I just walked through the workshop. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, there's other planks you can walk across. Nice and collapsed in here. Unfortunately. It's not that I won't do any planks, it's that that plank looked particularly bad. Wait, like. What? It wasn't just the plank itself, it was everything underneath it. It was barely holding them up also. That's the Hudson The views out the windows of just the campus in general is like the best part of Hudson. This floor is intact for the most part. For the most part, you say? Yeah, for the most part. The lights. I want to nice. find that room where it was just like four stories of collapse. The one in the attic? I think it was like in this corner somewhere to my left. Well, yeah, on. watch out right in front of you. That's about to go. There's like a whole dip. Let's go down to where that blue light is. It does look cool where there's like blue light filtering in there. Yeah. We didn't have any of that because it was overcast last oh, you night. You can see where the original light fixtures would have hung on that tin ceiling where the fluorescent is now. Really nice. This one's much more solid. Brian is the Hudson Plank Bridge expert. I'm scared to just walk literally anywhere in it's here. Fine. The floor joist is only slightly leaning. <laughs> this one's actually really solid. It doesn't even budge. You like coming to this place? Yeah, it's awesome. I'm not worried about the plank, I'm worried about the whole floor just deciding to go. Ah, it's been here for a hundred plus years. Yeah, there was a floor right there for a hundred plus years too. <laughs> yeah, well this one is better floor. Right. Oh, I love that blue light coming in. Your mission, retrieve that chair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Just, yeah, walk on the bed frame things. They're probably there for a reason. What, these bed frame yeah. things? Yeah, it's always good to spread out the surface area of weight. How has nobody died here? That's what I want to know. whole country would turn into this much of a jungle if people just disappeared. Well, most of it aside from the desert. The big day room at the end. Similar to the one I came in on, but less stuff stored in it.
Are you not a fan of Hudson? I'm a fan of the floor right there. Yeah. Well, it's, it's an concrete. addition. It's concrete. <sighs> yeah, you got to be a little bit crazy to walk around in here. Come this way. It's a really cool day room over here. Can't believe you walk around with so much confidence. Like you just trust everything. Now we're on the other side of that collapse. I don't know, like these shots are so cool. They're really cool, yeah, but I the wish collapse I was like, and the light. I wish I could just float through here instead of having to. Yeah, you got a no clip. Rely on gravity. And actually, over here, you can see the ribbed ceiling. No more plaster, no more tin. It's all gone. This day room is so nice. The light is beautiful. The blue streaks coming down. Yeah, this is definitely the time of day to be in here. It's peeling. The paint has like eight layers, but beneath it all is the original stenciling. Just peeking through. The uh, ivy is just starting to turn red. It's like bright red in the middle of this. All the dormer windows are gone here too. It's a really pretty staircase right there. Lots of rusty wrought iron. Yeah, it's definitely not original, but it's still old. It doesn't strike me as that old because I don't think they would use such a repetitive you pattern so? back then. That's got to be like pretty. 1900s. Because 1920s is when they added the patient porches, and they look very boring. Yeah. Okay. Like even look at the steps have like those patterns in it. Yeah. Should we go on this floor? Yeah. Just stay in the middle, where the joists are. Probably here. Um, you can see on the floor above you where they are. Oh, yeah. That's, just walk right here. Got the bay windows, stained glass, and a hole in the floor, and ceiling. Wow, they actually use steel in this building. Yeah. That shows you it's a lot newer. Oh, yeah. The other side was all wood and bricks. Mm -hmm. Where the, the hallway was shooting with the wood detailing was just brick arch. Yeah. And this is steel through it. Look at how thin that floor is. See, this part has wooden ceiling and joists. The one below had the brick. So it's interesting how they're all different. I, it might have been that part of it was just rebuilt from a fire. Probably have to take the patio again to get over there. You can see another plank bridge with the other one we went across down below it.
And then what's after that plank? Is it good after that? Yeah. Nothing else sketchy? There's a few holes. Come you on. look around and you literally like don't understand what is holding anything up. Don't think too hard. I, I think I'm gonna keep thinking. <laughs> Just come on. Fuck. All right, he's walking it. He's walking it. I mean, I see a little bit more structure here than that one yeah. I bailed out on. I just like so. being able to see four floors down into the basement from that plank. Yeah. It's very fun. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, the little planter there. <laughs> very nice. Just floating. Is it possible to go all the way to this window at the end here? Yeah. All these shells still have names on them. Goldberg, Goldstein. It's pretty insane that the names are still on there. Considering the room looks like this. And you can see the floor below us had more shelves with more names on them. Attic is just coming in. Nothing is in the right angle anymore. Someone threw the wheelchairs down this pit. They're in the basement now, really? and I'm not getting them. Here's this fire escape, this beautiful railing. and it's all gonna be this color. Amazing. I think straight ahead is the hole I'm thinking of. Yeah, that's fucked. Yeah, that's like the most vertigo inducing spot in here. All the way down to the basement. There's a, a tree growing in here. The skylights are still here. Oh, something about this right here is so beautiful. The angles and the colors. The room right here, you just gotta, either the floor got worse or you gotta go around it. Uh, more collapse, because there used to be an exposed beam. Yeah, let me see that. Right there. Uh, no, this is how it was. The beam's right here. I walked on that. Okay. It's steel. I don't know if I'm going to today. There's definitely more debris it's, on it. Than it's there way was worse. Before. You're right. Just all this shit on top of it. I think it's just like it's slowly yeah. collapsing farther and farther back. This place is definitely a sight to behold.
The current plan from the developer is to demolish everything except the administration building and a handful of smaller outbuildings. Modern structures will be built around them for a mixed-use development. All of the 20th century buildings have already been demolished. The current state of the building is unfortunate as we're facing the loss of the majority of a national historic landmark. <laughs> 